الله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله As we all know brothers أحب الأعمال إلى الله سبحانه وتعالى الصلاة على وقتها as we know, the most beloved act in the salah after a shahadatan salah on its time. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam a salah khayru mawdu' faman arada an yastakthir fal yastakthir aw faman shaa an yastakthir fal yastakthir he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Salah is the best thing to do. It's up to you. If you want to do more of it, then do more of it. Since Salah is so important, Shaitan focuses on Salah. He wants not to ruin your Salah, but also to even make you quit Salah altogether. But for steadfast on the Salah, and Alhamdulillah, as I was reminding the children about Isra' wal Mi'raj, when Salah was obligated, and it was 50 prayers. The more I think about it, the more it just brings a smile to your face. Looking around you, how we are and what will happen if it stayed that way. So I said, Alhamdulillah, Prophet Musa alayhi salam keeps intercepting Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with his question, what did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala command? And he kept recommending for him to go back and make it less until it became to five daily prayers. The funnier thing is, guess what? You think Prophet Musa alayhi salam told him, good, alhamdulillah, now five, go and all the Muslims will be praying perfectly on time. No. He told him, go back and request for less. And I guarantee you, if he dropped it to one, it will still remain a difficult thing on some people, not some people, the majority of people. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala qal wa innaha la kabiratun illa ala al khashi'een. Salah is a huge task except for those who are khashi'een. And there we go. The shaitan focuses on your khushu' to ruin your khushu'. So Aisha radiallahu anha asked the Prophet he asked him a question about Salah and this question referring to Khushu and how you lose Khushu Al-Iltifat Qalat ya rasa'alat al-Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam an al-Iltifat fi salah faqala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ikhtilas yakhtalisuhu al-shaytan min salat al-abd she asked him about not being attentive to the Salah or turning your head, looking. Yani, is this okay? He said, this is how shaitan steals from your prayer. How does the shaitan steal from it? Yani, your Salah is worth, let's say, a hundred points and you glance you lost two points you raised your eye you lost another two you keep losing until you end up going home alhamdulillah you prayed but your bank account is zero you lost it Ibn Uthaymeen rahimahullah said that know for sure that 
your heart becomes inattentive before your head turns. Because the heart is the king and the eyes and the head and the body parts are the slaves. And the shaitan focuses on your heart which we call waswas. The waswasa comes to the heart. And when the heart is inattentive, the rest of the body will be inattentive. You find the person turning the head, scratching his leg, moving his pants, and raising his buttoning, playing with his finger, something. Inattentive. And this is really horrible if you think about why you Again, Ibn Uthaymin said, no, when you turn your head, you turned it to something more important than what you're doing. Who is in front of you? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We know the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us when you stand in the prayer, you are Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala before you. As long as you don't look. Look at the connection. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala there, you're speaking to him. You turn your head, you looked at something. Evidently that something is more important than looking at Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Talking to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Look how cheap of it this way. So every time you turn, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala no longer standing with you. You were having a conversation with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Your heart is interested in seeing something else or talking to something else. How cheap and how disrespectful and how ignorant of us to not know that we are standing before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One of the scholars said when you say Allahu Akbar and you move your hands, both hands behind you, it's like you're taking the dunya and you throw it behind your back and now you are focused in salah. And then we have the whispering of the shaitan. So you need to understand, number one, whom you are praying to and who is standing in front of you. That will help you get rid of the whispers of the shaitan. You need to come early to the sunnah before the salah to prepare yourself and connect yourself. You need to understand what are you reading and what are you saying. Otherwise, you can never reflect on what you're reading if you're reading something you don't understand. So all of these things will help you become attentive. It is so sad that you pray and you took the task and the time and everything, and then at the end you look, zero credit. Because you talk too much, uh, you look too much, because you move too much, because you're not attentive, you're not reflecting, or because you're just praying mechanically. Your body moves and everything and your mind is somewhere else. This is not fitting for a believer who wants to go to Jannah. Remember your salah, it's the most important and most beloved thing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on that because he knows if he ruins it, he really ruined you. So know that the shaitan is your enemy and treat him as such and know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves the salah and treat the salah as such. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us from those who are attentive min al-khashi'ina wal khashi'at. Jazakum Allahu khayran subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdik ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi.